Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings, where I do readings for celebrities and celebrities only. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all that information can be found down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. There are three options uh, to choose from. There is pre-record, phone call reading, as well as a video call reading, okay? A virtual reading where we'll be able to talk and see each other face to face. So if that sounds good, like I said, that information is below. Let's go ahead and get into the energy currently for Candy Burris and Ty Tucker. Okay, for those who do not know, Candy is a part of one of the most popular R&B groups, and that is Escape. And of course, she is the star as well as Ty of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So they have been together for a minute now. <clears throat> Candy is a Taurus and Ty is a Leo. And when I tell you, Candy is a true Taurus, okay, because she has her Taurus in her sun as well as in her Venus. And then she also has earth in her moon as well. So that has to deal with emotions. So her moon is in Capricorn. And with Todd, uh, again, he's a Leo. His moon is in Libra. His Venus is in Virgo. And we'll just go ahead and get more into the chart as we do the reading. So let's see, okay, given the most important messages, given the current energy around Todd and Candy, okay? The overall is the eight of wands in the reverse. This has to do with slowing down. Um, there could be a, some type of a waiting period or there could be some type of panic. Now, keep in mind, we are dealing with celebrities. So everything you hear is alleged. And of course, this is for entertainment purposes only. Over here is Candy side. Over here is going to be Todd's. So let's see what this is. What could be a possible panic? Or what could be possibly slowing down here? Bottom of the deck, you have the two of, I'm sorry, two of swords. I was about to say two of wands. But two of swords basically has to deal with choosing the lesser of two evils. Could also mean that a, something is in a stalemate or there's some type of indecision. So it's all going back full circle to the eight of wands. So there is definitely something in their life at this time um, that could be slowed down due to some type of indecision. All right, over here on candy side, you have the King of Cups in the reverse next to the Queen of Cups in the reverse, which is surprising, okay? And the Ace of Wands in the reverse, the Hermit in the upright, and the Four of Cups in the upright. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Um, I wonder if this is, let me, let me, I'm gonna get into it, but it's kind of sounding like it's maybe something that's business related, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so with the Hermit card, this is about contemplation, okay? She could be in a period of solitude right now trying to contemplate what it is that she's wanted to do in some area of her life um, due to something that she's become aware of, all right? And next to the, <laughs> sorry, I can't even talk, I'm about to choke. All right, next to the Hermit card is the Four of Cups, okay? And, oh, there's something that's going on. All right, there. When you're dealing with the four, when you're dealing with the four of cups, <clears throat> man, I cannot talk right now. But when you're dealing with the four of cups, there is some type of a disconnect that's going on. There's a disconnect in her life. I'm not sure if she's just feeling like this when it comes to Todd, or she's just feeling like this overall. But there is something that like she feels bored with. She feels a lack of passion about something and a lack of energy here. Okay. And you also have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, along with the King of Cups in the reverse. Now, sometimes this has to do with other people. We'll know more as we pull the into of cards, but this could just be her energy overall because we are all made up of masculine and feminine energy. So with the King of Cups in the reverse, this, she could be in a period where she's feeling very moody. She could also be in a period in her life right now where she's being kind of cold or she's, you know, kind of being cold, being distant from other people. And also with this Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is also somebody that could be feeling very insecure. So she may be um, giving off the energy to people, or um, in particular her husband, Todd. She may be giving him allegedly this energy of somebody being very codependent, very clingy at this time. Hmm. I wonder why that's coming through. Something's definitely come to a stop here. Let me tell you, the Ace of Wands is in a reverse and the Eight of Wands is in a reverse. I definitely feel like the two of them are in a period right now where the 
and this is this is normal. I mean, of course, they are a married couple. They've been together for a while. But I feel like the spark in the bedroom may be off. It may be dead right now. They may not be having as much sex or they're not as emotionally uh, connected to each other as they normally are. And this may have something to do with her maybe working hard. He could be working hard. They could be living separate at this time, you know, with life getting in the way. But um, there's a decision here that somebody's wanting to make with a clear mind, not wanting other people uh, to have a say in it. And whatever this choice is, it's a difficult choice. Oh. What is this? Well, I can tell you, here he is. Here is Ty coming up in his own reading. He is the king of wands. He is somebody that is trying to basically see the big picture. Also, he's very charismatic. He attracts people to him very easily. And he's a very passionate person, very passionate about his work, passionate about what he does. And um, he's a leader and he prides himself on being a leader in um, his life. Uh, but there's definitely some possible challenges that they're facing because you have the judgment card here next to the king of wands and it is in the reverse. So this has to do with somebody that um, is in a period of lacking self-awareness. So she may have an issue with him or she may have an issue with what's going on, like in the bedroom sexually. She may have voiced this to him, but he may be in a period like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean. I, I thought that I was satisfying you or I thought we were good, allegedly. Okay. Because here you have the Six of Pentacles, what has to do with generosity and sharing. And for him, he, in his head, he's feeling like everything is going good. But for her, she's feeling emotionally disconnected from this situation. And she's not getting uh, the passion that she wants. And this is causing her to be in a mode of feeling very clingy towards him because she feels like she may be missing something. But I don't know. This could be a self issue, okay? Because sometimes when we start getting into those molds and everything, that has more to do with you than it does with your man. But I will say third party energy could be affecting because we do have King of Cups, Queen of Cups, okay? So this could be, um, she could <clears throat> be having some type of dealings that are with people that are Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy, or somebody that's just giving off those traits. Okay. So next to the six of pentacles, you have the death card in the reverse and you have the ace of pentacles. All right. So this is fear of change. And this is somebody that's holding on or somebody that is being very stagnant. I wonder. Okay. Okay. And next to this, you have the ace of coins. All right. So this is all about a new venture, a new opportunity, and this is all about prosperity. I'm going to be honest. I feel like with Todd, he's very passionate and he's very fired up about something he's doing, whether this is a new business opportunity, this could be, uh, I, I feel like there's work. Work is taking him away from home a lot. There's something here that's going on with work. He's constantly focusing on building. All right. And he may be giving a lot of time, attention or money, whatever the case may be to other people. I do see Scorpio here. I did mention there's queen of cups, king of cups in the reverse on candy side. So there could be a Scorpio that's somewhere in the mix here. Okay. But whatever the case may be, what he's doing, she's not liking. Okay. And he is acting completely unaware of what it is that she's talking about. So I want to go ahead and I want to see exactly what this is that could be bothering Candy right now, okay? Because right now, oh, okay, perfect example. Candy is a Taurus with a Capricorn moon, Earth energy. And her Venus is in Taurus and her Mars is in Leo. She is very stubborn very stubborn. And she refuses to budge. When she gets mad about something or holds a grudge about something, then she tends to refuse to move on a subject. Keep in mind, her emotions is in the devil and world energy, which is the Capricorn. So Capricorn stereotypically tend to <laughs> there's a certain word, I would say pussyfoot around the situation sometimes when it comes to people that they care about, not really getting to the point, but just kind of doing a passive aggressive thing the same way in which a Libra would do. Keep in mind, his moon is in Libra. These two, I don't think their communication is very good. They are two people that, like I just said before, around a the situation, they will go instead of just saying 
flat out what is bothering them, okay? Because like I said, I don't see any sores. There are no sores on Candy's side. There is no sores in the overall, and there are no sores on Ty's side. So either they're not speaking to each other right now, or there's just not enough communication in this marriage, okay? Because the only thing that we got here is the two of swords, okay? And this is basically somebody with the blindfolds on. So who is going to be able to make the difficult choice here because nobody's communicating, okay? Let's see. Why is there a lack of communication at this time, please? Give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through for Candy and Todd. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages for Candy and Todd, please. They definitely are not communicating, or at least they are not having the best communication at this time. <clears throat> Okay, so someone in this situation has short hair. Counselor, okay? You know, they may have suggested to each other or they could currently be in counseling for their relationship because like I said, the thing that's sticking out the most to me is that there's a lack of communication here. And with this two of swords energy, this is a person needing to make a decision on their own. And like I've seen with all these, um, these cards here, you got the king of wands on his side. On her side, you have the queen of cups in the reverse and the king of cups in the reverse. So what I feel is that there are too many people, too many hands in the pot. There's too much third party energy here. And there are two people here that are either not communicating or they're living separate lives. All right. Someone in this situation could have a Leo moon. So I know the two, the two of them do not. So definitely, like I said, it could be some outside energy. You have, you put it on me. Mm. Take some time off. Yes, I definitely feel one or the both of them. Keep in mind, I did mention in the beginning of the reading that Todd is the one that's coming up as somebody that is really, really focused on stability, finances, pinnacles, basically. And what I'm getting here from Candy is that she's feeling alone and neglected emotionally in the relationship, allegedly. And here, smoke and mirrors. So basically what's coming through here, and I'm just going to keep it real because like I always do, when you get the smoke and mirrors card, I have the one or two things are going on. This relationship is not as it appears, meaning what you see on Real Housewives of Atlanta is not what really goes on in this household, or somebody is basically pretending to be something else. All right. And somebody got their glasses on and they just want to see this person for who they think they are, not for who they really are. Okay. Okay. What did I tell you? I told you silent treatment is coming out and I truly feel like it's coming from Candy's end. Let me just be honest with you. Because Candy is coming off as somebody that's not really a good communicator verbally, she tends to use, allegedly, manipulation. Okay, keep in mind that the King of Cups in the reverse is manipulation and keep in mind the Queen of Cups in the reverse is insecurities because Todd is allegedly doing something or she feels like he's doing something to make her feel insecure. Instead of her voice and her opinion, she gives him the silent treatment when she's not feeling happy because she's not happy right now because she's like, if you're not giving me the one, who you giving that one to, basically? I'm just saying, because keep in mind, Ace of Wands, we know what that is in tarot, okay? So if you're the king of wands, all right, because let me tell you, he charismatic. And from what I'm seeing here, allegedly, he puts it down, okay? He putting it down on somebody. Who is this? You put it on me. And who is this Leo Moon? Allegedly. He putting it down on somebody. I'll just say that. With that ace of wands in a reverse, she's not getting any sex, Okay. There's no sex that's coming in. There's no passion coming in on her end. But like I said, he's still in the upright as the king of wands. So um, I'm just saying, I'm going to keep going. Shut my mouth. Look at this. Multiple sex partners. Keep in mind on Candy's side, she has a king and she has a queen of cups. 
So that Scorpio Pisces cancer energy, she may be somebody that has other partners outside of it. Keep in mind, Todd has the death card in the reverse. That is Scorpio energy. So he may have somebody. Hell, they both may have some people on the side. Let's keep in mind that these two are very open about the fact that they do invite other people into their bedroom, allegedly, and that the people there sign NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. So this is why you never hear about these people speaking publicly about their relations that they've had with Todd, like you hear about Tiny which is uh, Candy's friend because Tiny is married to T.I. And they are very open about having an open marriage. Um, well, open bedroom. I won't say open marriage because it, you know, whatever. But somebody may have opened Pandora's box. Somebody may have realized in this situation. And I think it's you, Candy, allegedly. Yeah, you may be freaky and say all these different things. Let me tell you, they both freaky, first of all. <laughs> Because both of them have their Pluto and Scorpio. So they definitely love the taboo, the wild, the freaky, the kinky. Let me tell you something. Somebody in this situation, and I feel like it's Candy, has realized that she opened Pandora's box and she can't close that MF now because now you done allowed the King of Wands, Mr. Attention Seeking Leo. Okay. Keep in mind his moon is in Libra. All Libra men or moon placed men are not players. But you got a Leo with a Libra moon. His Venus is in Virgo and his Mars in Aries. And you tell him that he can have fun? Yeah, you may say he can have fun only with you in the bedroom. I'm going to just be quiet. Anyway, multiple sex partners. <laughs> Baby, who is the Sagittarius? Because it sure as hell isn't these two. I told you, these two are at a distance. Whether they are living apart, whether they're not talking to each other, they are emotionally separated at this time, okay? Six months from now, something could come out, whether this is talks of an alleged separation, alleged divorce. There could be talks of somebody that may have not signed an NDA or they don't care that they signed an NDA. I'm just saying, Oh, baby. What did I tell you? Somebody getting a freak on. Somebody. But um, look at that. You cannot make this up. Did they not say they were in an open relationship or at least their bedroom was open to third party energy? Baby, let me tell you something. Candy may have agreed to an open bedroom, but I don't think she agreed to a full on open relationship. I don't know, y'all. Somebody comment down below who may know this situation better than I do because if I'm not mistaken, she said from time from, from time to time, a little three-way ain't gonna hurt nobody. But I don't think she said that she wants her man having a full-on situationship or him saying she could have a full-on situationship without him. So I don't know. Somebody being a bad girl. Like I said, Candy... Candy got two two court cards over here. So we'll see. Somebody's a bad girl. Could be her or this Sagittarius. Somebody needs to be focusing on their life purpose. They need sense of direction in their life because somebody doesn't feel a sense of direction right now. They sure don't. Not with this Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is a stopping of passion. Something passionate. There's some That fast forward movement has slowed down and somebody is panicking, allegedly. You have, I want to be with you. And Queen of Pentacles coming towards you. Mm. Well, we do know that, of course, the Queen of Pentacles is Candy because she is a Taurus. But if these two are already together, who is this other person that's coming in? I'm just saying. Hmm. I need to see why these messages are coming through. Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Candy? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Candy? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Todd? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Todd? Uh-huh. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Conflict and danger lie await. 
Oh, uh oh, time's running out. Time is of the essence. Authority and diplomacy. King of Pentacles energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Y'all, I don't know. Candy, what you got going on, girl? I'm just saying, allegedly, there was a Sagittarius card that came up. And they said, danger lies awake. Time is running out. Something's about to be revealed, allegedly. Oh, y'all, it's getting, it's getting deep. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, gal, I don't know. Tide may find something out. Forces beyond your control intervene in this situation. Will your surroundings will undergo a transition? These two may end up separating. I don't know. Your perseverance is rewarded. With the sun card, this this is Leo energy. You're, it's going to persevere. So there's some happiness that's coming, but there is also some reckless actions allegedly on Candy's side because I did say for Candy. Um, I think I dropped some stuff. I did. I dropped a couple. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> y'all, this is messy. This is messy. And y'all know I like mess. All right, give me the most important <laughs> messages. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Comment down below what you feel about this reading and what other readings, um, what other celebrities you would like for me to do readings on. Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please. Also, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notification bells on because I will be doing a reading on the other two castmates, which is Drew Sedora and her husband. I don't know his name. But I'm going to do a reading on those two as well because it's been a lot of, I don't know, somebody write about them too. Give me the most important messages. Why are these messages coming through for Candy and Tide? Why are these messages coming through for Candy and Tide, please? Oh, oh, okay. Whoa. Wow. I don't feel obligated to commit non-committal. I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. Emotional manipulation is the first thing came to mind. Keep in mind that king of cups in a reverse is emotional manipulation. You have here physically choosing them, but emotionally choosing you. Yeah, there's definitely somebody. Somebody has gotten caught up. May have got some feelings involved with somebody else. Just looking for a good time. Somebody that they may have thought or they have planned to have something casual with, but something may come out about this connection, allegedly. Bad at love, good at screwing. Mm. See, that's what happens when you get that at that Pandora. Everybody can't handle this open relationship or perceived open relationship life. Feelings get involved. Situations, people get caught up. Whew. I'm going to move these cards out the way and I'm going to get the final five messages to see um, what's to come. Because, baby, this is juicy. Juicy, juicy. Give somebody dog just barking. What's wrong, doggy? Oceans apart. I'm going to pull a different card deck. Here we go. Give me the most important messages moving forward for Candy and Ty, please. They got to ask that you give me the most important messages. Ooh, six of wands. So that's good news there with that six of wands. Victory, success, and public reward, okay? So um, the good thing is, that, like I said, their marriage may work. They may just need this time apart, allegedly, to, um, you know, I guess, heal. That counseling, that's it. I do feel that if they're receiving counseling, the counseling is going to work. Uh, Candy, baby, what kind of secrets you hiding over there, girlfriend, allegedly? Because you came up deceitful in the first cards. Now she's coming up deceitful again because there's a moon card. Oh, oh wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a sec. Get y'all, they both out here wilding. Allegedly. Y'all, they wilding. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> just... 
<laughs> bottom of the deck is the king of swords in the reverse. Okay. Like I said, six of wands is good news, meaning that um, there could be some good news that's coming out for them, or they could be um, deciding to make their marriage work, uh, you know, after counseling. Counseling could be something very beneficial, but King of Swords in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. This has to do with somebody being weak or cruel or somebody being manipulative. Now, on Candy's side, you have the... Huh. You have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Moon in the upright, Page of Swords in the upright. I'm sorry, Page of... Pentacles, death card in the upright, the magician card in the upright. So there's definitely some manipulation going on here, or at least she's trying to have some type of willpower to create something else or do something different. But this is sticking out like the sore thumb, okay, this moon card here. But it could also mean that, of course, she's trusting in her intuition, um, something may be revealed, there could be something that is hidden. But again, that moon card is sneaky energy. Um, nine, I'm sorry, nine of pentacles here in the reverse has to do with a person that could be very obsessed with work. So like I said before, time, taking time away from work could help this relationship. They both could be working so much that they're living separate lives and you have to be careful with that because eventually you're not even going to know each other anymore because you don't take time to nourish the connection. So you have here page of pentacles, which has to do with somebody being very ambitious and very diligent and craving something new. Okay. Oh, okay. Candy craving something new. <laughs> Magician and the devil. No, I'm sorry. Magician and the death card. I don't know where my head is. So there's going to be an end to a cycle. There's going to be a new beginning. Like I said, I do believe that this relationship is going to work and it's going to um, have to do with adapting to a situation, adapting to some changes. They are going to make the changes that are necessary for them to move forward, allegedly. I don't feel like these two are going to call it quits. But I will say one thing. Play a ways when you got this Knight of Wands here in the reverse. Uh, this is somebody that tends to be very reckless, somebody that tends to be very impulsive. So he could be in this energy here. Keep in mind, this is also the Knight of Wands. This is also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So he could be wilding, okay? And you have the Sun card here in the reverse, okay? So there's um, he could be dealing with a period of depression, but there's a tower that's coming allegedly on Todd's end. And when that tower comes through, it shakes the foundation, baby. So let me tell you, one of the both of them is going to have something come out in the news and it's going to be shocking. And keep in mind, we did have the car for six months from now. So I'm just saying, whatever this is, it's going to cause him sadness because the sun card is next to the tower. I mean, of course, Ooh, it could have to do with a, a um, fire sign. You do have uh, this tower and this knight of wands. We did have Sagittarius in the Intuitives, but Tower is also Aries energy here, okay? Seven of Pentacles has to do with hard work. Both of them work way too much, spend very little time with each other, and rarely ever communicate. And if they do communicate, it's usually them just bickering, okay? But there is love there right underneath this... Um, King of Swords in the reverse, you have the Two of Cups. These two are willing to work on this connection, this partnership, and give to each other equally because I do feel that for them, allegedly in the past, somebody or the both of them were not giving the other any of their cup, okay? The emotions, it, it, the relationship was off balance, basically. But you also have the Nine of Cups here, which is really good that it's in the upright, okay? So I do feel that for him... Um, there is a sense of emotional stability that will be coming back around after this tower moment. But ooh, I'm ready to see what this tower is going to end up being because, baby, ooh. clarify this tower, please. <laughs> ooh, not today. Not dealing with it hurt. Avoiding a conversation, a call or a person, boundaries being set, still angry. Uh-oh. Like I said, I don't know. You may end up finding something out about candy. Allegedly. So that is all I have for today. <laughs> this reading was a no, I don't. Y'all hold on. Ooh. I was just told to pull these cards. 
Give me the most important messages to close off this reading for Candy and Todd, please. Give me the most important messages to close off this reading for Candy and Todd. You have, oh my God, this feels so good. Stop running. Crying over them. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a tower moment. You have dance for me. Married man. Mm, okay. <laughs> a married man that's a bad boy. Did I tell you? Somebody didn't got too caught up in this open relationship and then caught feelings allegedly for somebody else. Somebody that's slim and trim. Mm. Huh? I'm going to let y'all read that. Not trying to... <laughs> Quickie. All right. So there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm Sag Moon Diva. Check out my second channel of the same name. And guys, I will see you all in my next one. Bye.